Near the end of 2020, I built this very skinny kicker out of some scrap wood from an old shelf. Today, I felt like I was ready for something a little bigger. So the first thing we did is we took a large plank and laid a 2x4 under it. Then we traced the 2x4 onto the plank so we knew where to drill our pilot holes. Then we marked where we to put our pilot holes. We decided to separate them by seven inches each with the exception at the end. Then we drilled all the holes and occasionally got the drill bit stuck in the wood. Then we laid the two by four back on to see if our holes still lined up. And then we flipped it and began putting the deck screw. We're securing it with deck screws. Ooh, that end part was scary, so let's build some legs. We held the plank up and decided to go with the 12 inch end drop. So we're gonna make the legs 11 and a quarter inches. We're using a miter saw to cut the pieces because it does it quite fast and quite reliably. As we were putting the legs up, our neighbor suggested we make an H shape to keep the legs extra stable. Then we drilled some, then we drilled pilot holes on all the legs and then secured it with deck screws. That felt much more stable, but there's still a little bit of a wiggle side to side. Our neighbor suggested we make a middle leg that juts out, but connects to the center support. This is not something we're experts at, so here's a time lapse of us setting it up. You should maybe just walk your bike on the side so you can see what would happen if you went slow. Okay. I think, you, I think it's like one of those things where you just gotta go for it. There you go. Whew, that was scary. Let's paint this drop and try it again tomorrow. If you didn't hear what he said, he said it's just, now it's just a matter of can he go straight. Ooh, so close. Are you okay? I'm okay. Okay. That's happened many times before. You came off here. Literally right here. Wow. Any last words? It's scary. <laughs> you should definitely build it in your backyard. Uh, my this is a perfect space because it's like a patio that's perfectly level. <laughs> sort of. And my one piece of advice, make it at least 20 inches wide. <laughs> yeah. All right. Peace out.